everyone this is a quick overview of the Wyndham Bonnet Creek Resort this is a one bedroom unit um, we apologize for the mess that we made this is our last day um, so we have over here hey Tom what is? our four uh, chair dining room table let's start off with the kitchen here we have a fully stocked kitchen we got your standard refrigerator oven microwave coffee maker blender sink and dishwasher for all your parents who don't want to wash dishes on vacation and it comes fully stocked with all your pots and pans and, room service. and of course room state you have options to room service when you come here oh yeah don't forget the toaster we haven't even used the toaster when we got here so let's also come make our way to the bathroom Oop, bathroom so we have a bathroom Hi guys! I discovered this here yesterday. <laughs> Washer and dryer. They also gave you a complimentary detergent. Which is nice because I did my laundry last night and now I don't have to do the laundry when I get back. And stand up shower. To it. <laughs> and look at that. A nice hot tub. Or jet bath, I should call it. Or bedroom. I didn't bother to make the bed, but it's alright. I'm on vacation, technically. Yeah. Closet space. Lots of closet space. And you get a TV. Which is great. And your back here loops around. That's a pull-out couch. So in case you have uh, friends and family that actually swings on by. Get a nice balcony roof view excuse my life, my voice and also this is the view we're on tower five at the Bonner Creek Resort um, we, I believe you have six towers so over there across from us is the main um, hotel location and the tower three four five and six is on the other side but yes we were this was our first um, Wyndham vacation ownership that we booked and we were able to negotiate some ownership points when we went to Las Vegas. Tom and I went to Las Vegas last year and decided to try out um, the Wyndham Vacation Resort. Weren't sure. They were trying to hustle us into full ownership less than six hours. I don't know about you guys. Tom and I got to a position where we don't make impulsive decisions like that on a very, very important decision. So, trying to hustle some of this stuff for 30 grand, 50 grand, 60 grand, 60. They started all that bad. They actually ended up going all the way down to 13 grand on us. And I said, like, you know what? When I buy a car, I test drive the same car at multiple locations. I will also test drive another car. Another car. So that's where I told them straight out, um, you know, I've done Airbnb. There's videos on YouTube on that. We've been going and renting friends, um, vacation ownerships. So there is perks to it if you have a family, highly recommend it. Yes. Long story short, her and I, um, the guy of course was trying to be aggressive and sell you this whole think of a family and cost of living over time and vacations, yada, yada, yada. What we ended up doing is pretty much walking out their head um, of their management team over there because they do a soft credit report so we have really good credit they came back and said would you be interested in the discovery program and that's what this is it's the discovery program so we're discovering right now yeah. um, it was definitely worth it we spent three grand we have almost a half a million points Four hundred thousand um, to be exact. <laughs> this costs thirty. You can get it 
30 to 60,000 points, 30,000 if you book on a week, 60 weekends. Um, we're going to be going to Hawaii with 100,000 points. It's very um, nice. We'll nice to table. Vegas and a couple other trips. Um, so it's definitely worth it because three grand alone would get you to Hawaii. Um, so, but overall, then, you know, we knew exactly what we wanted. Um, so just, you know, don't make an impulsive decision. They'll probably try it out. Be aggressive with you, especially in Vegas because of the market. Um, but if you have good credit, you're probably a person that understands market shifts, um, credits you could have for a lifetime, or realistically, what dictates the value of those credits, right? That's the biggest question. If you own something and it's a, an asset as in money, what's the worth? Um, so let's go into other things. If you want any advice on any of that stuff, feel free to ask. Um, Overall, I think this particular resort um i think it was a great experience the yes. staff was great yeah, we went to universal let's say a souvenir <laughs> it got squished um but yeah there's a lot of great amenities the staff was great polite um and we had a good experience here at the bonnet creek and I think if you are interested on in coming to this resort, um, take a look at it. If you guys have any questions, comment um, below and we'll do our best to respond. But I, I think that overall this place has a positive experience. Um, but there's plenty of things to do. Uh, but yeah, like I said, in regards to if you're looking into getting a some type of vacation resort program, Please, please, do your research. I highly cannot emphasize. Do your research before you get into a vacation club membership program permanently. I think everyone should try it out before um, because you own it. <laughs> if you don't own it, then you have to sell it. <laughs> but yeah, overall guys, we're off. <laughs>